everybody to please stand while our graduates enter the auditorium. Thank you. Please remain standing. We're going to start tonight's program with the Pledge of Allegiance. I have two of our seniors that are going to join me on stage to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I need Cario Blanche, Renee Dawkins, and Ralph Houston. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can all be seated. Welcome, Mrs. Zervalik, Board of Ed members, faculty, friends, graduates, and alumni to Farmington Central High School graduation, class of 2014. Before we start the celebration tonight, I would like the graduates to help me recognize your teachers for their help in getting you here. With the staff, from Farmington Central, please stand. Thank you. Let's give another round of applause to our superintendent and our wonderful school board for believing in Central and believing in you. Now, grads, I want you to stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Turn around. Look at all the people in the audience. They also helped you get here tonight. 
your family, and your friends. The ones who never stopped believing in you. Let's give all of them a round of applause too. Thank you. You guys can sit down now. Special thanks also go out to my secretary, Sandy Welling, and for my volunteer, Fran Florence, for your continued help and assistance in all our graduations. I now want to share some interesting facts with everybody about our grads. We have 46 students graduating this year. 18 of them are girls, and 28 are boys. Fourteen of them are former students of Farmington High School. Twenty of them are former students of Harrison. Seven are former students of North Farmington. Five are from outside the district. After tonight, however, they will all be proud graduates of Central High. It gives me great pleasure now to introduce our superintendent, Sue Servalik, who will say a few words. Thank you, Pat. Good evening. As superintendent of schools, it is my pleasure to officially welcome you to this 2014 graduation of Farmington Central High School. I am very pleased to join with you tonight to celebrate this important milestone and to spend a few minutes reflecting with you about the significance of high school graduation and the opportunities for success beyond high school. To the graduates, your high school graduation is a significant accomplishment, and we are all very proud of you. But these commencement exercises represent more than the completion of your formal public schooling. They also represent for you a new beginning, hence the term commencement exercises, the beginning of the next stage of your life as an adult. But to start, let's reflect on what and who has contributed to this important milestone. Certainly it wouldn't have happened if it weren't for the contributions of some very important people. First, the Farming and Public School District is an important component in your success. It is represented here today by our Board of Education, the faculty, and staff. It is my pleasure to introduce to you members of our wonderful Board of Education who could join us tonight. These outstanding citizens are committed to providing the students of Farmington and Farmington Hills communities with an excellent education from preschool through high school and beyond. So I will ask the board members who are here tonight to please stand and please hold your applause until I finish introducing them. Howard Wallach, President. Frank Reed, Secretary. Karen Bolson, Trustee. And Tricia Belozovic, Trustee. Please give them a round of applause. In addition to the Board of Education, the faculty and staff of Farmington Public Schools has played a vital role in your success. Since coming to Farmington Central High, you know, you know you've been served by outstanding teachers, counselors, and support staff. And certainly your principal, Pat Karras, who has stood by you and supported you to get you to this point that you are now graduating. Please give them all a round of applause again. <laughs> to the graduates, your high school graduation represents one of the major transitions in your life. Like all transitions, there is a feeling of great excitement about what may lie ahead, but also a feeling of not wanting to let go of what is known and familiar. I know that you feel like a family at Central and that you have valued the extra attention and support that you have received there. You've made friends and you've grown as a student and as a person. Yes, as exciting as it is to be done, it was a, probably a little bit sad to take your last walk down the hallways or, or get together in the, in the Central area right outside your classrooms 
at Central High School as a cougar. Well, I know, I know the feeling. We are graduating from Farmington Public Schools together. It just took me a little longer to get there. You are embarking on the next phase of your life, whether it be college, the military, or full-time work. I am also embarking on mine by retiring after 40 years in public education, 25 in the Farmington Public Schools, and nine as your superintendent. It's hard to believe that the students who entered kindergarten the year I came to farming and public schools are now 30 years old with kindergartners themselves. So I truly do know the feelings of both excitement for what lies ahead and the sadness of saying goodbye to friends and teachers and the many other fine educators who have given so much so that you are so well prepared for the next phase of your life. And that is the really good news. You are very well prepared for this next stage of your life. First, you're to be congratulated for completing one of the most rigorous curriculums in the state and in the nation. You can also be proud to know that you have acquired the 21st century knowledge and skills of a farming to public school graduate and lifelong learner. For example, your experiences at Central have helped you become a global citizen demonstrating civic responsibilities of integrity, honesty, fairness, justice, and respect for all. You've also been taught to be a resourceful problem solver who thinks both critically and creatively to explore and evaluate solutions. And as one of the great strengths of our school district is its diversity of many cultures, you have acquired cultural competencies that will enable you to live, work, and learn with people from all backgrounds and walks of life. By achieving all of the characteristics of the Farmington Public School learner profile, which also include being knowledgeable, a good communicator, interdependent team member, and healthy and lifelong learner, you have the skills and the fortitude to continue your learning and make a positive impact on your community, your state, the nation, and even the world. As I graduate with you, I know I will miss you and all of the students in the Farmington Public Schools the most. Over the years, I've watched with pride as FBS students got involved and made things happen. I've seen students who weren't afraid to try something new and fail and keep on trying and then succeed. I've known students who stood up for what is right, who spoke up, let their voices be heard, and made a positive difference in their school, their community. And because they are, because they are, and now you are, a Farmington Public School graduate. And because of who you are, I know you will continue to find ways to make an impact, both big and small. You'll find your passion, make new connections, and meet people different from yourself. You will challenge yourself to learn something new that pushes your thinking. And you won't settle for anything less than your best effort. As Nelson Mandela once said, there is no passion to be found in playing small, in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. So I said at the beginning, this commencement ceremony marks the beginning of your life as an adult. Up until now, other people, schedules, requirements, all these things controlled a lot of what you did, where you went, and maybe even what you ate for lunch. But now, as you graduate from high school and go on to college, military, or the world of work, much of what you do will be your choosing. And the choices you make, your friends, the people you will work with, those with whom you choose to love, can have a profound influence on the way you live your life. Sometimes young people embark on this next phase of their life filled with optimism and to find happiness and realize their dreams only to encounter the inevitable obstacles that cause a setback and take them down, may take them down a path of least resistance. They may realize years later that they have given up on their dreams. But central grads don't let that be you. Understand you will have setbacks. You may make some poor choices and even mistakes, but it is the way you respond to those inevitable brick walls that makes the difference between living an ordinary life or one that is truly remarkable, joyful, and makes a difference in the lives of others. 
In closing, I know you will continue to contribute and make a difference by finding your passion, pursuing your dreams for a better future, and effectuating the change you want to see in the world. So graduates, today is not an ending. It is a beginning. And I know you are ready. In the words of Henry David Thoreau, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined. Thank you, graduates, for making my time in the Farmington Public Schools so very fulfilling. Congratulations and best wishes to the Farmington Central High School Class of 2014. Thank you, Sue, and best wishes to you in your next journey and your retirement. to the class of 2014. You have all come so far from those nervous freshmen to tonight, your high school graduation. Although high school provided challenges, you overcame them with the help of your family, your friends, and your teachers. As you sit amongst your classmates tonight, I ask you, to look at each one of them and imagine the difficult struggles that they had to overcome so that they could be sitting next to you tonight. When you reflect upon the trials and tribulations through which your own personal obstacles were pushed aside, you know that you are not alone. All of you experienced unique challenges, joys, triumphs, and tragedies. But you rallied around one another, and you succeeded. You have taken in stride everything that has been thrown at you, and you made it. You made it to all your plus classes. OK, well, most of them. You got through the MME, the ACT test, the finals, the acting in Miss and Lucy's class, the, the dissecting of pigs in Miss Janovich's class. You conquered the math equations in Miss Neely's class, the clay sculptures in Miss Nemec's art class, and yearbook with Miss Lennox. You learned about yourself and what set you off in Ms. Haas' psychology class. You dealt with online classes in E2020 with Ms. Cadwell, and you survived career days with Ms. Champagne. And as part of my gift to you, tomorrow not one of you have a lunch detention. Keep those memories alive that you made here. Store them in a special place so that whenever you feel overwhelmed, you can go back, look at those memories, and smile. Now is also the time for you to take a step forward. Walk on a new path of life that is opening for you. You are not only graduating from high school, you are graduating from one step of life into another. The future beckons you with all its hidden surprises, and you must take it up with an ambitious heart and an adventure soul. Life does not promise to be easygoing. However, you guys already know that. So keep the determination that you exhibited to graduate, to get you to your next journey. Don't go backwards. Continue to climb up the ladder of life and embark on each and every day with all your heart, just like you did here. I applaud you for your efforts, and I wish each and every one of you continued success and happiness. Thank you for giving us
the chance to learn and to grow with all of you. Congratulations to the class of 2014. At this time, I would like to introduce Howard Wallach, who is the president of the school board, who will also say a few words. Good evening. Last fall, at a prestigious university, two freshman friends were taking organic chemistry. Going into the final exam, they had solid A's. These two friends were so confident going into that final that the weekend before their Monday final exam, they decided to go to a party at a neighboring university to see some friends. They had a great time, but ended up staying longer than expected and did not make it back to school in time for that organic chem final. They found their professor that afternoon, told him they went to visit friends for the weekend, and planned to return in time to study but they had a flat tire on the way back and did not have a spare. The professor generously agreed the students could make up the final the next day. The two friends were elated and relieved. They studied that night and went to class right on time the next morning. The professor put them in separate rooms. He handed each of them a test booklet and told them to begin. When each student looked at their first question, which was about free radical formation and was worth five points, they each thought to themselves, this is gonna be really easy. After finishing the first test question, they turned the page, but they were totally unprepared for what they saw on that second page. For 95 points, their professor asked, which tire? The moral of that story is that no matter how smart you may think you are, be careful not to underestimate those you are dealing with. You're about to enter the outside world, to leave the cocoon created by your parents and those who love and protect you. Is anyone out there waiting for you? Where are you in your life? What path has been prepared for you? How scary is it in the real world out there? Some or all of those questions have likely passed through your mind in the last couple of weeks, or will very soon. Your families are very, very proud of each of you today. For some of them, to be honest, your graduation is a relief. <clears throat> For others, you've simply achieved the first of many steps in a very long process. In either event, today is probably a very opportune time for each of you to ask for some money. What you do with your life and how you do it is not only a reflection on you, but on your family and every institution that helped make you who you are. Every one of you has a calling. There is a reason why you are here. And that reason is greater than any degree. It is greater than any paycheck. And it is greater than, any, than anything anybody can tell you about what it is you are supposed to do. Your real job is to find out what that reason is and then get about the business of doing it. Do not fear failure. Be motivated to succeed because of it. What you should fear is being content with failure. Remember, as Michelangelo said, the greater danger for most of us lies not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but setting our, mark, our aim too low and achieving our mark. Driving fancy cars, wearing designer jeans, and having the latest technology equipment does not make you successful or a good person. Being smart and knowing how to use the latest technology does not make you superior to those around you who may not have those skills. No matter what you have and will continue to learn in school, all of which is very important, there is no substitute for real life experience. No matter how smart or talented you are and how many techno gadgets you have at your fingertips, treating all people with dignity and respect, despite the preconceived notions you may have about them because of where they live, what they do for a living, or their race, religion, or ethnic background, 
is more important to your lifetime success than anything you can learn in a book or on the internet. Don't ever assume someone who doesn't drive a fancy car, wear those designer clothes, use the latest technology, or have a high-powered job can't run circles around you. Because the fact is you can learn a lot by simply listening to others, thinking independently, and using your common sense. And importantly, if you're not satisfied with what you have, you will never have enough. The poet Ralph Waldo Emerson said, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. I have some great news for each and every one of you. All of your heroes, all of the human beings you admire the most are no different than you. They were ordinary people who wanted something badly enough to go after it, found a way to believe they could get it, committed themselves to work hard and tirelessly until victory was theirs, and persistently kept getting up every time they were knocked down, no matter how many times it took. They felt, felt fear just like you do, but tackled their dreams despite their fear, or as some like to say, forged ahead with aggressive ignorance. Today is the first of what we and your families whom we welcome hope will be many more indicators of educational success for each of you. Because it is through education we not only acquire knowledge and skills that enable us to make a difference in the world, we also break down barriers between people of all kinds and eliminate discrimination. Each of you have had an amazing opportunity to expand your thinking, stretch your imaginations, and explore the numerous cultures of your classmates in this community. We hope you realize the impact this has had for you and your future, and how it sets you apart from most young people today who have gone to school in communities where they looked just like everyone else around them. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. You live in an amazing time. Barack Obama is our first African-American president. Who knows, maybe in my lifetime, a woman will be the leader of the free world. You've studied history and learned about wars of the past, but you lived through the worst attack on this country's soil in history, and you witnessed the architect of that attack pay for it with his life. And in less than 20 years, life as you know it today will be entirely different. Each of you have the potential to help shape that world. Simply because where you have grown up and where you have gone to school, doors have and will be opened for you that others only dream about and envy. From those as fortunate as you, with all you have and the opportunities which await you, we expect great things. You've worked hard to get where you are today. You have overcome obstacles others have not faced. Stand up for what you believe in. Treat everyone with respect. Every day in this country, people do extraordinary things. Many of them are just ordinary people. You have it within you to achieve greatness beyond your wildest imagination. You must never again see yourself as different or less than your heroes, the people you admire. You have the same tools they did. The only question is, are you willing to enter the arena, make the sacrifice, and use those ordinary tools to compete? Make us proud. Make this community proud, and most importantly, make sure every day that your parents are as proud of you in the future as they are of you today. Many people judge their, their success on what they have rather than on what they have done. Don't just be a success. Make a difference. Throughout Oprah's incredible career, she has lived by the motto, life is a journey, not a destination. Enjoy your journey. If you do what you love and love what you do while supporting yourself, you will be successful and make a difference, even if it is only in your small corner of the world. Give back to your community. Make it a better place for those who follow you. But perhaps the famous author, poet, educator, and civil rights activist, Maya Angelou, whom we sadly lost recently, said it best when she said, I've learned that people will forget what you said People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. You can make a difference in, how the, in the way that people feel. In just a minute or so, I'm going to be officially recognizing your accomplishments. 
But there's another person matriculating from Farmington Public Schools today. Superintendent Susan Zervalik is retiring after 25 years of dedicated service to children and families of this district. We thank her for a job well done, congratulate her on her accomplishments, and wish her well in the next chapter of her journey. When you walked into Farmington Central High on your first day as a student here, you became a cougar. Today, as you graduate, remember that you are a cougar for life. <laughs> and now, the time you've all been waiting for. On behalf of the Board of Education, our superintendent, the entire administration, faculty, and staff, and by virtue of the power vested in me, I declare the class of 2014 of Farmington Central High School to be officially graduated. Congratulations. <laughs> And somebody else's stuff. You got all these papers that are yours. Yep. Can I have all the Oh, absolutely. Okay, in just a minute, we're going to have all the board members standing on the stage. Ms. Champagne's going to come up and we're going to start calling the names. So I would like the first row of grads to please all stand. Congratulations, class. The first graduate tonight, Elise V. Andreski. Andele Ashford. Daniel A. Beckleda. Macario O. Blanche. Sherelle A. Brown. Garrett R. Carter.
Raphael D. Houston. Jalen M. Hutchins. Stephen A. Jennings. Amani N. Johnson. Ariana R. Johnston. Early Kelly the Fourth. Brittany N. Lewis. Deja A. Mack. Nick J. Mankos. Brandon M. Manzella. Elijah M. Martinez. Krista L. Meredith. Mariah N. Mitchell. Shahid A. Muhammad. <laughs> Deshaun G. Myers. Avalon Oakford. Mason H. Rosenberry. What? What? Cameron D. Schluter. Jamie A. Sprader. <laughs> Colin Stiltner. <laughs> Philip W. Thomas. Ivana J. Walton. <laughs> Alex T. Ward. <laughs> and last but not least, Doug J. White. Congratulations to the class of 2014. Okay, we're not done. Hold on, hold on. I need um, IKEA, 
Florence and Angela Colon to join me on stage. Ikea is going to be our first graduate speaker. So Ikea, you want to come up here? They're all nervous. They're both very nervous, but they're going to do a great job. They're great girls. Here you go. Welcome to parents, family, friends, staff, and class of 2014. Okay, you couldn't have told me four years ago that I would be standing here giving this speech today. I have had so many challenges throughout my high school years. Four different schools, failed classes, broken friendships, gain enemies, and lack of confidence and determination. I wanted to give up. I hated school and really didn't see the purpose and importance of school. But although I was lacking confidence in myself and wanted to give up, my family never lost confidence in me. They never gave up on me. They believed in me. They challenged me. They pushed me. But most importantly, they loved me. So see, love is powerful and uplifting. I am standing here giving this speech today because I am love. Because being loved and receiving love from my family made me stronger and more confident. I wanted to give love back. I wanted to achieve the goal that everyone thought I could. I wanted to win. If my family would have gave up on me and I would have gave up on myself, I would have lost. And I come here to tell you that winning sure does feel better than losing. <laughs> now that I am winning, I want to continue the journey of winning. To any parents that have a struggling child, don't give up on them. Mistakes are meant to be made. Know that there's always a possibility of a second chance. Myself, as well as my peers sitting here, are all examples of a second chance. I would like to take a moment to thank Farmerson Central High School for our opportunity of a second chance. Just as my family, the staff here believed in me. They pushed me. Prime examples would be Ms. Haas, who dealt with my nagging every time I had a grade lower than an A, or Ms. Ely, who told me every day in math that I could do it and it wasn't as hard as I made it seem. Or even, or even Miss Champagne, who pushed me every day to see if I applied to college or not. In similar ways, the rest of the staff helped me to be a, a part of the class of 2014. To any struggling student, know that you can do it. You can make a change. You can succeed. Know that someone is cheering for you to make it. And if that's not the case, cheer for yourself. Know that. Know that although people was helping you, in the end, it was you waking up early in the morning when you didn't want to. It was you staying up all night to finish your E2020. It was you typing long, annoying papers, and you did it all to pass. To be, to be standing on this stage today graduating, to win. Know that you are smart, and you can do whatever you put your mind to. Know that you can achieve Know that you can achieve any dream that you want, and you achieve the dream that you never thought you could, graduating. So fight through the peer pressure, the misunderstanding, the anger, and all the negative things that can block your success. To the class of 2014, let's take advantage of this second chance. Use this second chance as a life lesson. Continue to strive, believe in yourself, love yourself, and never give up. Know that every moment in life is not going to be easy, 
But if you fight through the challenging times, you will be a winner in the end. Thank you. I think she did a great job. Um, our The next student who's going to be giving the closing speech, Angela Colon, who again is nervous, but she also has a great speech. Um, like Ms. Kara said, I'm extremely, extremely nervous, um, but I'm even more honored to be able to speak on behalf of Farmington Central and my experience in high school. So here goes. <laughs> um, Farmington Central is the garden in which we all grew into the people we're supposed to be. Along the way, we have had our teachers to support us, believe in us, and to brighten our day. They are our sun. I'll always remember the love I felt from the teachers, counselor, and principal at Central. Every day when I walked in, they were there to greet me and ask me how I'm doing. They, encourage, they, they have encouraged us and bent over backwards to help us reach our goals. Our teachers made it clear how much they believe in each and every one of us. I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart because we couldn't have done it without you. From Ms. Lennox's corny jokes every Friday and inspirational encouragement, Ms. Janovich's smile that brightens up the whole school, Ms. the excitement in Ms. Cadwell when you get 100 on a topic test, Ms. Lucy's positive attitude towards all her honeys, Ms. Ely's patience when breaking down a math for me step by step until I finally get it, Ms. Nemec bringing out the creative side in everyone, and Ms. Haas's love and support, those are the things that I'll miss the most about high school. My classmates and I started out as strangers, but in a matter of time, we became family. We learned to accept each other's flaws and celebrated each other's positive assets. We were there for each other when we needed someone to lean on. I am so thankful to be able to say that I'm graduating with this class because my peers are the most amazing, accepting, and kind people I've come across in my short 17 years of life. Together, we focused on our similarities instead of differences. If everyone could learn to do this, it would change the world. <laughs> and because of this alone, my world has changed. And for that, I thank all of you. My peers are the water that helped me to grow. The most important aspect of my life, and I'm sure my classmates would agree that this is true for them as well, is my roots. They are the essence of unconditional love. They are our family. They support us even when things are rough and are here for us to celebrate the good times too. At times they have been the chalices that kept us growing on the right path. I wanna thank my mom, my dad, my big brother Joey, my grandma Dorothy, and the rest of my family for supporting me along the way of my journey, even at times when it was extremely hard. I wanna thank my mom for never giving up on me and teaching me how to be a good person by showing me what one looks like. I couldn't be the person I am today without all of you. We have all weathered many storms, some more severe than others, before getting here. While at Harrison, I was just another face in the halls. No one would notice if I was there or not. However, when I got to Farmington Central, I became part of a family. This is like no other school I've ever been to, and I am so grateful to have had the privilege of being part of it. I am a different person than when I began at Central. When I arrived, I was angry all the time. I didn't know how to control it. The littlest things would set me off. The staff helped me. They showed me how much they care about me, even when I was the most unpleasant person to be around. I am no longer angry, and it feels great to be able to say that. Now people enjoy being around me, and I became myself again. Before Central, I was not reaching my potential. My grades were nowhere near what they should have been. The teachers and principal at Farmington Central helped me to reach my goal of having all A's and B's all senior year. <laughs> Now the grades that I'm capable of are the ones you'll find on my report card. I've become a hard worker and I'm much more easygoing than I used to be. Never once did Central give up on me, not even when I gave up on myself. They gave me chance after chance and helped me to realize how much potential I truly have. They helped me to change the things I didn't like about myself and strive with the things I do. When I got to Central, I was far from someone that I was proud of. But with help from my family, the staff here, and all my peers, I have bloomed into the person that I was always meant to be. 
We've all had struggles along the way of our journey, and although there are many more to come, high school is one that we have conquered. Now we will all go into the world to plant our own garden. Class of 2014, congratulations, because we made it. I think both of these ladies really said it well for our entire program, our entire school. Um, we are blessed to have them. They feel the same with us. It's a growing experience, and um, like I said, I'm really proud to be part of it. What we're going to do to a long-awaited evening, at this point, I would like both girls to please stand up in front. I would like the grads to please stand up. Okay, girls, you're gonna take your tassels, move them from left to right. You're all officially high school grads. At this point, our ceremony is over. I would please like if you would remain seated until all our grads leave, exit the auditorium, in the cafeteria, we have cake and lemonade. If you care to stop in to say a final goodbye. Thank you again, parents, families, friends, for giving us the opportunity to work with your children. Have a great summer.